everyone, I'm Miss Rachel from Parachute Studio and I have a really fun activity I want to share with you today. Today we are going to be making funky fish. Funky fish. You ready to make some art? Let's do this. To make our fish look extra funky, we're going to be repurposing materials that we find around our house. Repurposing means to use something in a new way. In this case, we'll take things that we might usually throw in the trash and turn them into art. A lot of the things that we throw away actually end up in our oceans and can end up in the bellies of sea creatures. No! So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking things like cardboard, paper, plastic, junk mail, and other things like maybe yarn, buttons, other things that you find around your house that nobody's really using and that people are ready to throw away. If you find colorful things, even better because that will make our fish even funkier. And maybe some paints or markers, crayons, pencils, some other art supplies that you have around your house. You'll need those too because you'll need to be able to draw your fish first. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. So now that you've got your funky art supplies, put them to the side so we can create the outline of your fish. I'm going to use cardboard, but you can easily use a piece of paper, plastic, or any other fun material that you find. First, I need to draw the fish's face. So I'm going to take my blue marker because it doesn't really matter what color you use, as long as it's dark enough to see. And I'm going to make a line coming down like this, and then to the fish's lips, right here, and another line down where the fins are going to come down. And don't worry, we'll cut this out afterwards. Next, we'll finish our fins off like this, and one big fin for the back. You might want to define your fins a little bit. This is just so you know where your fins are. You might actually cover it up at the end. And a fin in the middle. And your fishy's eye. And now you have the outline of your fish. Next thing you need to do is cut your fish out. So now that you've cut out your fish, the really fun part can begin. Now, you can also use a piece of paper, like I did here, if you don't have cardboard. That's totally fine. You can also use something like this that you find around the house or even an old jar to make your fish. You'll just need a sharpie so you can draw on it. Now we're going to make fun patterns on our fish. Patterns are designs that repeat themselves over and over again. You can make patterns out of lines, zigzags, circles, dots, triangles, or any other shape you can imagine. Just draw the shape, then draw it over and over again. The idea for a funky fish is that we cover the whole thing in colorful patterns. I'm using oil pastels, but you can use crayons, markers, or paints to make the colorful background for your funky fish.
So now that our fish is covered in funky, cool patterns, let's get started on decorating. So I'm gonna take this old can. Remember, we're using repurposed materials here. So I'm gonna take this part of the can. I'm probably gonna stick it on this fin. And I'm gonna look for other things that I have. Um, here I found some tin foil that was going to go to waste. I'm gonna use this tin foil to kind of define his fin. So I'm going to crumple it into a long line, and I'm actually going to take more here and continue going around and making this tin foil into a long, skinny line so I can make it squiggly for his fin. Here we go. Put these together. And then I'm gonna glue this on for his fin. Now, you can use regular glue like Elmer's or you can use a hot glue gun if you have help from an adult. just have fun decorating your fish with all kinds of funky materials. I used a plastic rice bag to cut small oval shapes to look like scales. As you will see, I also used a bottle cap for my fish's eyeball. Then I took some junk mail and cut out the colorful parts to add to my fish's fins. What I love about funky fish is that each one is different, so yours is not going to look like mine. Post a photo when you're done so that I can see how cool and unique your funky fish turns out. Once you've added all your repurposed materials, imagine your fish swimming in a vibrant, colorful ocean, free and clear from human trash. And then hang your fish on your wall, or keep it around as a reminder that instead of throwing things away, we can often repurpose them into something unique and beautiful. Well, that was fun. Thank you all so much for making these funky fish with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And remember, repurpose materials wherever you can. Recycle your trash so that it doesn't end up in our beautiful oceans. We wanna protect all the sea creatures that we can. And until next time, stay funky.